Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about cables. And maybe cables isn't the most fun topic, but when it comes to data centers, cable can run up quite a bit of cost. So I was going to show you a few examples. Uh, and this is for core uplinks uh, between like leaf and spine switches. So this, for example, this is a duct cable and this is 100 gig. Um, this is a few millimeters thick and it's not super duper flexible. It's, it's still possible to, to do it quite nice, but this is only one meter. As soon as you go to a bigger cable, like a three meters, you need to check the, the size of the cables and you need to think that you should have a lot of cables in the rack. So for example, next to spine switch, maybe you will have 64 cables. So one and three meters and 1.5 and two meters are the same thickness. When it comes to five, five meters, the thickness I would say is about double. So if you need long cables between racks, that cables isn't really the best option. I didn't think so in the beginning, especially when you did do it with 10 gigs before, and maybe even 25 gigs, uh, it was a valid solution. But when it comes to 100 gig, the cables are simply too thick. Um, I would say it works within rack, then you can save uh, some money. But when it comes to between racks within the same data center for 100 gig, then use this ones. See if I can open it. These are instead SFPs. And normally 100 gig SFPs are quite expensive, but these are specific ones for within data centers. So you cannot run so so you cannot have so long cable. And these are called QSFP 40-100 SRBD. So this is multi-mode and uh, multi-mode 100 gig you can run. It depends on which cable you have, but I will put up a list here. Um, I would recommend you to have OM4 cables when it comes to, to multi-mode within data center, especially when it comes to 100 gig. So. There is also something called the AOC cable. It's a fabricated cable like this, but it's a fiber here. The issue with them is they are quite expensive and then you need to know exactly how long cables you need everywhere. So if you know that, fine, but for slightly more money, you can have this um, uh, SFP. And that will save you a lot of hassle when it comes to uh, putting up new racks within a data center. So this is strongly recommended when it comes to internal cabling within a data center when you're looking for 40 or 100 gig. And it also bring a 25 gig, this case a two meter one. This is brown. If you can, I don't know if you can see it here but it's perforated 25 gig. This is Cisco original as well. This is SFP plus, while this is a QSFP. And you can see there's quite a lot of difference. A QSFP is two and a half times bigger than SFP plus. This is the reason, or the reason I believe, that the 40 gig of the QSFP was not so successful. I believe that the 25 and the 50 gig version 
will be a lot more successful as this is a smaller and require less electricity to power. As you can see, this is um, quite slim. If we compare to the 100 gig cable, this is, I would say, maybe 1.5 of these go for one of these. The 25 gig DAC and the 10 gig DAC is absolutely perfect to connect your compute. So if you want to go from your server to your leaf switches, this is a perfect uh, cable for it. It's uh, thin enough and it's uh, very cost efficient. Yes, the latest. This is a 013. This is a three meters, but fiber doesn't get thicker or thinner depending on how long they are. So this is an OM3. This you can run 100 gigs in. And I wanted to compare the thickness. So this is the fiber. For 100 gig. And this is the 5 meter DAC. 100 gig you can fit you can fit quite many of this super many actually I don't want to bend this too much but this is two I mean we can take the whole row to get the same thickness and this is one two three four five six so you fit six standard multi-mode cables on the same space as one so imagine putting 64 of these into spine switch or 64 of this I mean, 64 of this will be massive. It will be, and 64 of this will be like, and I wouldn't want to, to draw the cable because the cable management, it will be something like, something like this. And then you will have one next to each other. So I hope you, I did, uh, makes you, <laughs> reconsider to buying DAC cables for longer distances than three meters. And you may say that cables is not a big cost. Well, SFP sync cables when it's 100 gig, that's a pretty big cost. And keep in mind, each of the leaf switches needs to have at least two of these cables or four of these SFPs and within each rack more or less you have two switches so as soon as you want to install one rack you have eight of these uh, SFPs that you need to order or four of these cables but then you need to know how long the cable should be and if for some reason you would order the wrong cables it would have been cheaper to buy these instead of two of these so just keep that in mind and Cisco is pretty flexible when it comes to, to discounts, especially when you're buying a new data center, when you're buying a lot of Nexus switches and mostly this is included in packages when you buy the Nexus switches. So try to find some packages where it includes the SFP from start that can save you quite a lot of money. And once again, keep in mind that SFPs within data center and especially from and to data centers, that's quite a lot of money. 10 gigs, super cheap. 100 gig, not so cheap. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.